So in early lectures, we have seen that uh, how to check the title of the particular website, say softforce.org. But let us say you have the requirement that uh, you need to check the title of, say, 10 or uh, 11 websites. So in that case, uh, you will have to write the steps for each website separately and to check the title, another step. So if uh, there are, uh, say, you want to check the title for the 10 websites, you will need 10 into 2, that is 20 steps with this approach. But with the scenario outlines, your job is very simple. In the, with the scenario outlines, you can do the job in two steps only. So let us see how you can do that. Over there, I've created outlines, examples, or feature file. And this is the syntax to create the scenario outline. And here, remember that instead of giving the hard-coded uh, website name or the word uh, title that you want to check, what uh, we have done is we have uh, specified that in the brackets like this. We can give the examples or the test data that you want to check like that. So this is a test data you can see and this website should match this word and this word should match this one. And over there you can give the actual data that you want to pass. Like I want to check the title of this website, it should contain this one and the title of this website should contain Google. Now the step haven't been defined yet. So to define the steps, uh, what you can do is just copy that one. Then go to the Selenium steps where we have in that class and this is the step that you want to create. So what I'm going to do is just copy this step. What you have to do is use this particular step like this one. And instead of the website, what you have to do is you can give like this dot star. It means that it will accept any website and this dot star is nothing but it matches anything uh, for this particular sentence. So um, on the website you can change this method name as you want and this stuff is going to be the same. And another important thing that you need to remember is that it is going to take the parameter Inside like that, and and pass this parameter over there. All right. Similarly, to check the title. What you need to do is just copy this one. Paste it over there, followed by dot start. And here also you need to pass that thing that you are to verify. All right, so that's how you can check that. So we have defined those steps as well. And if I execute this particular code, what will happen is this particular steps will be executed for each row of the test data. So if you are uh, if you have ten rows over there. This uh, particular scenario will be executed for 10 times, one for each loop. I'm going to execute this uh, scenario and then see what happens. In the final step, I'm on the home page of the... So I'm accepting that step, so let's do this. And remember that uh, you need to put this particular thing in the glue, which I was missing, so I just put it over there. Otherwise, we'll go to this particular uh, error thing, that undefined step when you've other steps have been defined. So here what is going to happen is first time it will go to softwork.org and then it will go to google.com. So this time around in this scenario it will uh, check the title to take the tutorials. In the next scenario it will check the title contents google. So as you can see the tests have passed, two scenarios have passed and four steps were executed. So two steps for each scenario and each uh, row of data. So similarly you can uh, pass here multiple websites and multiple rows actually 
you can check the titles of those particular websites by just specifying that particular data over there in the example section remember that the steps will be used for each of the row and that is the beauty of these scenario outlines i hope you enjoyed this lecture